In this video, we will demonstrate how to acquire a stitched image using the multiple image alignment and stage navigator functions. High resolution images typically have a small field of view. The microscope stitching function enables you to overcome this limitation by stitching multiple high resolution images together into a single large image. To begin, we recommend you acquire an overview image using the stage navigator tool window. You can use this image as a map to determine which area you want to image in high resolution. To acquire the overview image, first select the appropriate observation method. With an automated microscope, you can configure all observation method settings with a single click. In this case, we will use a GFP observation method. Next, select an objective lens. We suggest using the lowest magnification objective to achieve the widest field of view. In the camera control window, start a live image and adjust the focus and exposure time. Once you finalize your image settings, go to the Stage Navigator tool window and click on Define Overview Area to set the total area to scan in your overview image. Move the stage to the top left corner of the area you want to include in your overview and click OK. Then move to the bottom right corner of your desired overview area and click OK. Next, click Acquire Overview. The microscope will automatically move the stage to take the image. A yellow rectangle represents the microscope stage's current position and field of view. If you change objective lenses, the size of this rectangle will adjust accordingly. Now use Document Mode to see your overview image on a larger screen and define your MIA scan region. To do this, right-click on the blue bar in the Stage Navigator tool window and navigate to Document Mode. The Adjust Display button in this window enables easy access to contrast controls for the overview image. To define an MIA scan area, click Create MIA Scanning Area by point and click. Then click on your image to define the top left corner of your MIA area and drag to define the scan area. Multiple rectangles will appear within this area to help you visualize how many images will be acquired in the MIA scan at the current magnification as well as the overlap between images. Next. Define the MIA scan settings using the Process Manager tool window. Click the multi-channel button to use multiple observation methods. For this experiment, we will use DAPI and GFP. Click Live and register each channel's exposure time. You can click One-Time Auto Exposure to apply auto exposures to every channel. Switch between the channels to confirm the exposure time for each one. To run an MIA scan, activate the XY Positions MIA button. Adjust your focus position and make sure to check the box labeled Use Current Z Position. Press Start to begin acquiring your high resolution stitched image. In this case, we will acquire an MIA image at the current focal plane with DAPI and GFP observation methods. You can watch your image build in real time. Once the stitched image is complete, you can view it next to the overview map. To do this, click on the file name and drag it to one side of the image window. You can also save your overview image to view both images later. To view your overview image, right-click on the image within Stage Navigator, then click View Overview Image. A rectangle will display to show the location of the high-resolution image within the overview map. For more information on CellSense software and our other life science solutions, visit olympus-lifescience.com.